Hello everybody, it's Larry and welcome to today's video and I'm excited to announce that Family Tree Maker 2019 was released today. Yay! After they said that it'd be released sometime this summer. Uh, summer passed uh, seven days ago, but it's out now and it's really fun. It, it It's really handy. I mean, there's some really nice features in this and there's so many of them that I don't want to cram them all into a video and give them each like one minute because they deserve more than that. Uh, also, you know, I don't want to make a four hour long video. <laughs> so what I've decided to do is every day this week, I'm going to make a video and talk about a feature uh, in, you know, a little bit of depth, not in extreme depth, but in a little bit of depth. And then, you know, you can go into it a little bit more yourself. And the first one we're going to talk about today is the profiles on your tree. Uh, the profile pictures uh, specifically so you know where this is used is obviously it shows in your tree but if you're to publish uh, like a pedigree chart uh, i've got it already set to pedigree chart preview you see here for clarence there's a picture of clarence and dolly and there i had a singular picture of her but i didn't have a singular picture of him and same thing you know with william alexander and caroline i have the one photo of the two of them together and there's not a portrait of either one and James Larkin and Sarah, I had two photos, one of them, uh, you know, in front of their car, one of them after church, you know, she's holding the Bible there. But you can see they're really small. And if I was to print this out and put it in a binder or something and give it to a relative, then it really doesn't show. And see how this one is sideways. And so uh, there's some things you can do now that are really, really easy to do. And let's talk about that. So the first thing you do is we're going to go to, you know, back to the tree. And we're looking here where we got Clarence and uh, Dolly. So I'm gonna click on Clarence, and then you double click on the picture up here in the right hand corner. Okay, double click on the picture, and it pops up this window. See right here, it gives this nice little window. There's not a whole lot to this window. You get a zoom and a save, okay, or cancel. Uh, but now let's check out the auto zoom. See the auto zoom. It did a pretty good job. It identified his face and did the portrait. Now, I want it to be just a little bit more in there. There we go. It's that simple. And now we have a nice portrait of him in there. Uh, let's look at that again with uh, William and his wife, Caroline. Double click on that. And so I can zoom in and uh, we'll zoom in a little bit more. And there we go. Drag it around and I've got a nice portrait picture of him. Right there, nice portrait picture. Instead of that dual picture that we have right here, I've got a portrait picture of him. And let's do the same thing for her. And we're going to get her with her bonnet. And uh, we'll just call that one good right there. So now we've got a portrait picture of her and a portrait picture of him. And I'm going to do the same thing uh, for James and Sarah. So double click on the picture, zoom in. That's a little bit too zoomed, so zoom back out just a tad. Give him to the shoulders. There we go. There we go. So there's a picture of him, and uh, you know, for Sarah. Now it's also kind of nice uh, when you, if you don't like the picture of this there, you can click right here to change profile picture, and scroll through any of them that you, that would be over here. And I have a nicer picture right here of her and her grandson Paul in Oklahoma City. So you know, she's out on the town and uh, she's all dressed up and we're going to use that as her profile picture so now we've got a nice profile picture of her a nice profile picture of him and uh, you know people have their profile pictures here set up so let's look and see what it looks like when we look at the pedigree chart now that we would print and put either in our binder or send to a relative oops i did not put the starting position the same so let me go back and select me as the starting position and now we go back to publish and uh, we'll look at it and it'll have everybody like the first time. That way we're comparing apples to apples. And see the nice portrait picture here and this great portrait picture here and here. And it, isn't that so much better than having the two people standing out in the street? Or here you have two people sitting on chairs on the front porch. And instead of that, now you've got this nice you know picture of everybody. So let's look at one more thing, and there's, you know, uh, on the portrait profiles, you know, not everything is uh, perfect. So I'm going to click on Robert Perryman. Now see here, there's no rotate button anymore. <laughs> they took away the rotate. If I'm over here in the old version on 2017, and I clicked on, double clicked on the picture, at the top, I could rotate everything. 
See, I could rotate it around and get it to what I want. And I mean, I could crop it and uh, stuff, but it went through a whole lot more steps. It wasn't as simple as zoom in and, and crop. It was, it was a lot more complicated. So it is a lot better now, but this ability to rotate it really needs to come back. That's, that's missing and that's, that's a pretty significant miss. I can't do anything with this picture. Uh, unless I just want to have a, a sideways portrait, <laughs> which would look kind of odd. So uh, I have to change the profile picture to, you know, to be a different one. And so we're going to come through here and find uh, a different picture. We're going to get this one and zoom in. So I can take that one. Uh, that one's a little bit blurry. I think I've got a better one in here. Uh, there he is in the military uniform. And we'll do that. So there he is there. And we got a nice portrait picture of him now. So I was able to put a portrait picture in there pretty quickly and pretty painlessly. Uh, but I did have to not use the picture that I wanted to use simply because it didn't have the rotate. I, I could still use it, but I'd have to take it out and do the rotation to vertical on my own. Upload the picture back to the media file in order to be able to use it. So if you're from Kiev and you're seeing this, um, I strongly recommend you bring back the rotate feature. That's you know not a complicated one, and I think you could integrate it back. It sure would be appreciated. That's missing on the profile, but the ability to you know once you have the picture, uh, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, once you have the the picture that you want to use, and if they're in that photo. The ability to, to quickly zoom and get the profile picture that you want, that's incredible. That is so much faster, so much more handy. And again, when you, the results, I mean, the results are outstanding. I mean, I love the profiles in the pedigree chart. Look at this. I, I, the one for William Brown, that's amazing. James McFarlane, I'm seeing the people who are with, I mean, I'm seeing them and, you know, with their names and information. That's a picture of them. That's not, again, that's not two people standing in the street in front of a car holding a Bible. Uh, that's their profile picture. And to me, that means a lot. I mean, I hope that, you know, when people have information of me, they have my picture with it. <laughs> so there you have it. That's about the, the profile picture. You know, it's very handy. You just double click, slide it to where you want. You know, and, you know, if it's too far, you slide it back and bam, you're done. It's that simple. You get the, the perfect profile picture. Uh, even if it's already a, a profile like here, this is a you know, pretty good profile of great grandparent. Uh, you can zoom that in and still make it an even better profile picture if that's what you want. Hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be more coming out uh, every day this week on Family Tree Maker 2019 as we talk about the new features. Uh, if you use Family Tree Maker and know other people that do, share this with them. This is going to be something that, that people are going to enjoy because this was just the first of many nice features that we're going to talk about for Family Tree Maker 2019. Yay, it's finally out. <laughs> uh, anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. And uh, we did pass the 4,500 subscribers after the Thursday uh, video and before today. And uh, just a couple other stats for those of you who have been with me since we started this six months ago. Uh, we passed a quarter million views uh, a couple of weeks back, and uh, we've had 2.5 million minutes of watch time. That's incredible. Uh, I'm glad that the videos are helping so many people. I remember, and <laughs> I remember we had 100 subscribers, and I did the video saying thank you. Uh, I wasn't sure 100 people would even watch or I'd even get 100 views total and much less 100 subscribers. And here we are just a very short time, not even a year later, and 4,500 subscribers and a quarter million views. I, it's just mind boggling. I, I just uh, I, I'm all struck. Thank you all. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give a thumbs up, pass it around to your friends, and we'll see you again tomorrow.